thank you for clicking on this video. Enjoy! Uh, as part of the a timer or something? I don't know. Anyways, blossoms bloom brightest. <clears throat> click, ver, click. An ominous looking machine sounded as a large cover-like section of it rose high into the air. A woman with thick, thick, bleh, can't talk, thick chestnut hair and auburn eyes slid her- Sick titties! Oh, sorry. What? No! <laughs> slid her way off the inner platform of the machine. A woman with a thick titties. As she stood up, she quickly straightened, straightened her clothes. Finally, she reached out to close the hatch behind her. I do not. I know that you can get a metal detector, but I do not. Thick f hair? Yes. Yes. Thick hair. It's fine. I can't talk. Thick. Very thick. Did you find anything? <laughs> I can't talk, okay? We all know this. <laughs> I know two languages and I can't speak either of them. Somewhat a little bit of Spanish. I need to continue doing Duolingo. I've been a little bit more lazy about it the past few days. You have thin hair. I have no hair. <laughs> what you drinking? Uh, this is just water. And the other thing I'm drinking is a kombucha. <clears throat> you also have no hair. I wish I had hair, but I have no hair. Unfortunately for me, uh, I'm pretty sure I've sh oh. shown a picture of my grandfather on stream before. Um, oh. He's gone now, but uh, essentially he has no hair. He had no hair entirely here, so he only had hair on the sides and in the back. And it seems like my male pattern baldness is uh, imitating his. <clears throat> um, after several minutes of waiting, two more of the ominous machines opened their hatches. First, a young woman with deep black hair and an eccentric outfit stepped out. Somehow, she seemed excited. Secondly, another woman, one with curly blonde hair and green eyes, which defied her complexion, stepped out as well, in contrast to the prior woman. This one seemed less than happy. You've caught the classic, classic bald spot. Yeah, I, I have the classic bald spot too, right here, and then it's receding this way. Mmm, women, mmm. I know, right, Fishy? The original lady took her place and stood in front of the other two. Hello, ladies. I'm Erica Matthews. I'll be your acting captain. Okay, so the characters themselves are voice line in this one. Um, but the... Hello ladies, I'm Erica Matthews. I'll be your acting captain. Oops, I skipped something. Shoot! The two who stood in front of Erica looked at each other, clearly confused. Both of them took a glance around the room. Eh? Okay, so is it just slightly voice acted? What's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> uh, thanks, but I think there's a bit of a mix-up. I wasn't told anything about a flight. To be honest, I don't even remember how I got here. Maybe just Erica, maybe? Yes. Okay, no, seems like only, like, some phrases are... Nice. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Yes, how did I get here exactly? I wasn't told anything about this either. Regardless, please bring me home as soon as possible. I have things to do. Erica stared at them for a moment before she gave her head a slight shake side to side. I think it's this one. Yeah, we had voice... <laughs> we had voice acted lines just before and now we don't. I don't know what's going on. No, there was no mistake. You two are now the crew of the spaceship Blossom. ID 10564, the mechanic, and ID 10356, the doctor, correct? Uh, well, my ID is 10564, and I am a mechanic by trade. Impossible, I never consented to this. Yes. Correct. Consent was never, neither given nor requested for this mission. If I may be so inclined, I would like to get to know you both better. What are your names, privates? The quiet woman gritted her teeth with visible contempt, 
while the young, raven-haired girl still seemed to be in shock. <laughs> I see. So that's how it is. I guess it's fine with me then. Nice to meet you. I hope we all Ma get along. <laughs> yeah, so only some lines are voice acted, it seems. So, and even then it's not like the full thing, so... Put it on read only. My name is Ko Kotoha. Nice to meet you. I hope we all get along. <laughs> what? How can you so easily accept this woman's explanations? We don't even know who she is. Do you even realize the gravity of the situation? The energetic young woman named Kotoha turned to her supposed comrade. Sure I do. No point in dwelling on it, though, right? Now I have all the time in the world to catch up on my anime and video game backlog. How can that be a bad thing? What the hell? Oh, I didn't block everything. All right, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Yet you seem so reluctant only moments ago. Nuh-uh. <laughs> nah, I was just confused. Hey, hey, come on, tell us your name too. <laughs> Not a chance. Captain, please bring me home as quickly as possible. I apologize, that that isn't possible. As Kotoha said, why don't you introduce yourself for now? Being prickly certainly won't be beneficial to any of us. You have to be kidding me. The captain's right. At best, you'll just make us cranky, too. It's harmless to share your name, isn't it? Oh. Or is it like an anime and you'll drop dead if you tell us? I don't even know what that anime thing is. No, there's simply no point in telling you if... There. Simply no point in telling you if I'm going home. With a glint of pity in her eyes, Erica placed her stern gaze on the distressed woman. No! Ma'am. That won't be possible. Please, I ask that you cooperate with us for the time being. My <sighs> name is Sarah. My name is Sarah. <laughs> yes, Sarah, written the exact same way your name is written. <laughs> Apparently. It's fine. You're making so much more money than last night again. I pray that this ends quickly. I have a wedding to plan, you know? I... For a split second, Erica's eyes drift to the cold steel floor. Oh, nice to meet you. Send me an invite, okay? Sorry. Sarah twisted her head around in Sorry. surprise. I don't even know you. Congratulations, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, I suppose. You gonna catch that lumbre, uh, Nile? I appreciate it. Now, Hooray. why don't we all get out of here? The dim lighting may give us all headaches if we linger too long. Come, I'll give you a tour of the ship. Oh, I tried to put it down for you. This is the second hallway. You won't come down here much. To the right is the engine room. <clears throat> huh? Uh, hey, didn't we skip a hall? Yes. Don't worry, we'll go back to it. You don't know what a lombre is, or you hope so? <laughs> you got this! This is the main hallway. Those doors at the end will bring you to the command center. The one next to it is the lounge, and the one closest to us is the kitchen and dining area. Be careful because we might lose our money today. You'll spend a lot of your time here, most likely. This is the third hallway. All bedrooms are located here, as well as the laundry room at the end of the hall. And the infirmary, lo the infirmary is located in that door on the right wall. Why don't you two take a minute to clean your bedrooms? Don't Erica walked over to a nearby terminal on the wall and typed something on the keyboard. Moments later, the terminals in front of each unoccupied bedroom lit up. Here. All you have to do now is enter a password on the terminal in front of the room you'd like to claim. Just don't forget it, okay? You caught it now! Let's go! Okay, sounds fun! And Ko Kodoha ran off towards the farthest door. Sarah remained glued to spot with a disapproving look on her face. Yes. You too. I'm giving you both a head start. I'll pick last. <sighs> Despite her apparent frustration, Sarah nonetheless walked towards the door closest to the infirmary. Lastly, Erica headed towards a bedroom of her own with a smile on her face. Erica stood in front of a large computer. With the press of a button, an audio symbol appeared on the display screen of the gadget. Can you two hear me? I'm going to assume so. Can you please come to the command center in five or so minutes? Thank you. Thank you. Good. You're here. Thank you for coming. What's up? What do you need, Cap?
Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing and commenting down below.